it made me think about succession plan. And I've asked Dave this question in a bunch of different ways over the last couple of years. I just did it the other day on Wrestling Observer Radio. And it's like, we don't know what that plan is because what we originally thought that plan was going to be mm-hmm. was that Triple H would run the creative. And he lost to AEW with NXT and took the... Uh, took the pounding uh, of that loss by get by losing his his job essentially right he he was mm-hmm. was uh relieved of his booking duties there and they don't have that at least as far as we know they do not have that set in stone who is going to follow Vince McMahon on the creative side now n- you know Nick Khan his duties have have increased and increased and increased so much since he joined WWE. So that that side of, of of the business aspect of things, I'm sure they're probably pretty confident that you know, even though Vince is still kind of like the the final the final person to to say yes or no, mm-hmm. you know, Nick is setting things up and Nick knows the the market and he's got all the contacts and so I think they're probably pretty comfortable on that side, but the wrestling side, yeah. Who is the guy, or you know, or or woman? If if at one point they maybe thought Stephanie was going to be in that role, but who is the person to step in and figure out the wrestling side of things? Uh, names thrown out. I think the the fun one that people like is uh, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> yeah, it's a that's been a fun one. <laughs> Mike Gilbert had a great tweet on that today. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff Jarrett is is a fun name, uh, you know. I, I I my fun name is uh, can you can, you know? I, I want Shawn Michaels running the show. Can you imagine Shawn, the heartbreak kid, being in charge of of the whole of all wrestling operations? What's Ole Anderson doing these days? Oh we're my get, God! I mean, he's 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 good at getting some cheap, <clears throat> wasted, uh, clueless talents. You know, saw that. Now he's I don't know. That's a good question. It might not even be a wrestling person. It might, I mean, the person that might take over is one of those writers that have been there for a long time. That's been, you know, working side by side with Vince and that's probably what's going to happen. I can see like they sell this to wherever, you know, those people know to hire a wrestling person. I don't think so. Disney's going to hire just an executive and it's going to be like, Oh, we just have writers and they write this stuff. And it's just a product and continue to get like we see today worse and worse. So the person the, the the name that I love the most but this couldn't be right now because this person is an active wrestler but Cody yeah. like yeah. Co- Cody's the one that I really like because he's got the uh, you know he's got that in his DNA with his dad and mm-hmm. you know he he's done the VP stuff with AEW so he has that was a, you know that was a crash course in experience but he's also an active wrestler, and he's also one of their top guys. So he would be more valuable to the company, uh, probably as a wrestler at this point, until he kind of learned the game. But the other one is obviously Triple H. He's the one that could yeah. kind of just slide in and do it immediately. Yeah, I was but- thinking like if if say Vince does step down, then all of a sudden Stephanie's back after her little spatical, right? Yeah, and then. If that's the case, and you know the reason why she stepped down is because she knew this was coming, mm-hmm. and but now she's back, and I can see that's where you know Paul Levesque will get you know his power back possibly. But we we also know that he has heart troubles. True, and that this the stress level of this job is 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 a big deal. And I mean, who knows if he'd even be healthy enough to do it? Okay, mm-hmm. but but here's here's my fun one. I, uh, I you know those are sort of the, na- the 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 names that are out there. But here's my fun one. Okay, let's say <clears throat> I'm gonna clear my throat for this one. Let's say Vince stepping down means that they're going to sell, and let's say that whoever the buyer is, the buyer has connections mm. with 
a certain movie star. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Named The Rock. And maybe The Rock even has a small piece of the company. Like obviously, you know, Rock doesn't have that much money to 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 be more than just a, the the minority of, of of minority owners in something. But let's say you know, very much like how Magic Johnson is kind of like the face of of some of these teams. Mm-hmm. You put The Rock in that role. He he's the new face of WWE. You know, when you want WWE to work with other companies and partner and stuff like rock he's your guy who who in a series of instagram photos you know sometime (laughs) last year all of a sudden the rock and nick khan are like hanging out in you know in these photos yeah and nick khan's sister i think is was the showrunner or is the showrunner for young rock or was Mm -hmm. or there but there's some relation there right Yep, exactly. Yeah, so, she's a showrunner, I think. I believe so. And who is Rock's creative is Brian Gewertz. Mm-hmm. So Brian Gewertz and The Rock have the understanding, Rock being a wrestler, Brian Gewertz being the, the lead writer, they understand how that side of the business works. Now, I'm not saying that The Rock has enough time to literally run wrestling operations. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have that much time. No. But he would know who to put in that role, possibly. He would know who could possibly team up with Gewurz to, to do this thing. And then you let Nick Khan run that side. And, and maybe you may, maybe the sister can help out here and there and organize things and you know do showrunnery stuff. That is like a super fantasy booking idea that I had. It's, it's but it's, it's kind of fun. Though. It's super fun. It's very. It's. I think it's more realistic than you're you're giving credit for. I I can see that happening. I can see a Disney buying. You know, uh, uh, taking it on, and then there's also an investing group that's also part of it. And Rock, like you said, would have a little piece of that. And mm-hmm. I could definitely see that for sure. Or you know, another another uh, big uh, big company to buy it. You know. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. You you get a uh, a guy like The Rock to be the face of the company, so you can handle that part of it. Yeah, for sure. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm sure you know we're gonna learn so much about this story. Mm-hmm. Dave and Brian are doing a show a, a little bit after we record. I'm sure people will probably hear that before they hear our show, except for um, our our buddy John Quinn. He says he listens to us first, no matter what. So. <laughs> That's thanks, awesome. thanks to John for for thanks, listening John. to us first. We're actually gonna hang. We're gonna hang, hang out with say, John see this you Saturday. See yeah. you I, I was just gonna say, I'm, I'm glad this broke on a Wednesday, and not a Saturday. Yeah. So Dave, possibly Dave could come out to sushi with us. You think? Yeah, cause we because we had a a plenty of sushi canceled. Yes. Um, when a wrestler, usually, when, sadly, when a wrestler passed away. So I think D- Dust, Dusty was one of them. I think Dusty was one of them. I think Piper was one. Yeah. You know, but um, let's hope no one on Saturday passes away. In the yeah, rest yeah, for sure. So, but uh, yeah, and then the observer is going to come out on mm-hmm. Friday, and I. So I don't know if Dave and I are going to do like the newsy, the business news show that we usually do on Friday night. I think he may have an idea to to talk to somebody or to do an interview, and if that's the case. Uh, we may not even talk about it, but I'm sure him and Brian will have some stuff and then he'll have the big story in the observer, which I cannot wait to see yeah. what Dave finds about what's going on here. And just cause Is, he knows everything that's happened. Dave knows where all the bodies have been buried in WWE. Is a uh, hornswoggle on the board. He's family. <laughs> He might oh, be the last man. man ever left on the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gosh. Can you imagine? And, and and just, you know, we're gonna move on here, but like imagine if Vince was your dad. I like, know. How does Stephanie and Shane like and maybe they're they are just used it. to it, right? Maybe or they're just you like this is just yeah. what our dad who he is and what he does. Like, you know. It, oh gosh, I can't I can't even imagine. But I, I feel for I feel for them, especially because even if their life is sort of crazy and weird in this mm-hmm. weird wrestling world, like, you know, that that also sort of it, it relates, you know, people are going to look at that and go, oh, you know, Shane must be the same way as his dad or, you know, Stephanie, 
you know, she she's whatever. But I I kind of I really feel bad for them because it's kind of it's like so embarrassing. But at the same time, mm-hmm. you know, you love the guy, but at the same time, he's like weird, and it's not it's probably not the same sort of dysfunctional relationship that we all have with our parents is probably much different than that but mm-hmm. yeah it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a weird one man. what did uh the comedian david tell say like when you're growing up you think your dad's your man then you just when you grow up you realize he's just a drunk with a cape <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know tell you what this whole thing made me think about you know my, my beautiful wife katrina and i were you know we get in our you know like a lot of couples get to our shows, right? And mm-hmm. we've been kind of like finding something to watch. Everyone's talking about this is like a real life episode of Succession or a yeah. season of Succession. I, so, I, um, I have to watch it. I've been I've been putting it on the back burner, but I sort of feel like I have to watch it. Now. This is HBO Max, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna say, hey, let's let's just give it an hour and see if we look, if we like it. I hear good things, so yeah. I think I found my for all this. At least I found a show. <laughs> <laughs>